Hello everyone. Welcome to our tutorial videos on FreshBooks Cloud Accounting. Today's video we're going to show you how to set up a contractor in FreshBooks. You're probably asking yourself what is a contractor in FreshBooks? The contractor feature allows others to work with you in FreshBooks, enabling them to track time on projects they've been invited to while invoicing you for their services. Once invited, a contractor will work from their own separate free account and will not see any of your account information. All they'll be able to do is track their time and then submit you an invoice. They will not be able to see your rebill rate to your client and if you have anybody else working on your projects in your FreshBooks account, they won't be able to see that either. There is one other area of this feature I really like and that has to do with the time log. So the time that they log on invited projects will automatically sync to your account allowing you to review their time. So let's go ahead now and see how this feature works. So we're going to come down and click on the People tab. And then we want to click on the sub tab, Staff and Contractors. On the right hand side, we're going to click on the green New Team Member button. On the bottom left, we're going to click on the gray Add Contractor button. So our first field to fill out is the email. And just so you know, the email address is just the place where your invitation gets sent. There will be a link in the invitation email that brings your contractor to a new page where they then connect to their new FreshBooks account. Also, the connections between your FreshBooks account are based on your subdomain and not your email address. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill out the fields. My third field is the task, and Sean has been hired for web design, so I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Next, you'll notice the rebill rate, and this is the rate that I'm billing my client and Sean will not see this field at all. And under Assign Projects, we're going to select Web Design. And all we need to do now is just click on the green Save button. And 